Rio sweep on Friday. We brought out the broom yet again. Mark Zeno, I think that was the second straight Friday we went 3-0 and here on the morning wage. The only thing I don't like about – you should never complain about winning, yet I'll find a way to do so. The only thing I don't like about a 3-0 sweep on Friday, she can't – brag about it immediately the next day since we don't do shows no. the weekend. So that means we're going to have to get to the winners today right away. Yes, sir. Hey, hang on. Okay, I, I'm just going to tell you that you're a no! like you, you're, you're move on Friday about the, 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 the Astros winning by one run. You want to chase plus money? Take the app. Yeah, remember we were going back and forth. Yeah, don't give me that. Oh, stop it. <laughs> don't act like plus just because you got like one. Even the sun shines <laughs> on a dog's ass. Someday, so can, anybody can win a lotto. I'm just, yeah, exactly. Take a look. The Make sun, sure. the sun, the, the sun is out. All right. The they sun is out. The and the but we, 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 we will give you the credit for saying that the Astros won by one run on Friday. So, good well, job. Well, well, thank you, kind sir. The sun is shining. It is it Monday. It is a new so week. You. And you have a take on the Red Sox and the Royals. I do an important series in the AL wildcard race, I might add. Uh, you prefer one side to the other today in this one to get our double play started. Yeah, look, we loved fading James Paxton when he was with the Dodgers. We'll continue to fade him when he's with the Red Sox because this just in, he's not good. Uh, his first start in a Red Sox uniform, four and a third, six hits, six runs, uh, not good. So yeah, uh, the Red Sox lost the game to Seattle 10 to six, getting his second start against the Royals on the road. Now, I know the Red Sox score more on the road than they do at home, but this is a Royals team that with Brady Singer on the mound, they're 14 and 8. The Royals give him 5.3 runs of support per start. Singer has just a tiny 2.88 ERA. So that is enough for me to sit here and take the Royals at home on the money line. I know the Royals kind of, uh, you know, feeling a little bit good right now, especially after their four game series of Detroit. They took three or four, probably could have swept the whole thing. Um, but, you know, the Royals starting to pick up a little momentum again here, BP. Uh, and as you mentioned, a very important game in the wild card race here is I think only a, a couple of games separate these two teams, like one and a half or two and a half games separate these two teams in the wild card standing. So uh, Royals got some big boy baseball to play here. They got their most reliable starter on the mound. We'll back them at home uh, despite the minus 145 price. Smash that like button if you like the Red Sox on Monday. Pardon me, the Royals on Monday. Do not smash the like button if you like the Red Sox on Monday. Only the Royals. Smash the like button if you like Mark Zinno. Smash the like button if uh, you think James Paxton right stinks. Mark yeah, a lot of smashing. Mark, Mark Zero well, is smashing. Not, let, that's a different podcast for a different day. Anyway, oh. for my half of the double play, I am taking a look at the Mets and Cardinals. It's a 515 Eastern start, gang, so make note of that. All about the situation. How many times do you hear on Monday different people come on this uh, Wager Talk TV and talk about – how you want to fade teams coming off Sunday night baseball. Well, St. Louis is coming off Sunday night baseball, Mark. And it, it, like I said, a 515 Eastern start with travel involved. I know Chicago to St. Louis is not the longest flight in the world. Don't like the situation here, though, for the Redbirds. Do I mention run differential, Mark, or do we just move on from that? Do, do the people uh, do you think do you think they know do they know the deal with the Cardinals and run differential at this point? Have I made it clear what how this team has overachieved? I, I think I think they are they are aware, but you may as well tell them again since you already started to. Well, they've been outscored by forty two runs this season. That's not good. Based on that, you, based on that, you expect they'd be ten games below five hundred. Instead, they're over five hundred. Two games. I. It's crazy. They they easily could have been swept in Wrigley if it wasn't for that late rally on Saturday. Now for the Mets, okay. I know the bats that they, they weren't uh, very prolific over the weekend in Anaheim, but this is one of the highest scoring road teams in all of baseball. Top five. Our friend, the Cabbage Patch doll, Sean Manea on the mound. I yeah, wanted to uh, talk about this game just so we could get the Cabbage Patch doll up there. Look, here's there the go. deal. Uh, he was They're very related. good. Yes, you can make fun of him all you want in his hairstyle. Uh, how about seven shutout innings last time out with a season-high 11 strikeouts? I like the Mets to win here. It's a bad spot for St. Louis. Uh, file this one in your folder, gang. The Mets tomorrow, though, they might be a fade. It'll be their third road game in three days. Three different cities. They were in Anaheim Sunday. They're in St. Louis today. They go to Colorado uh, tomorrow. So that's not a great spot for them. But for today and my half of the double play, I'm playing the Mets as a short favorite in Bush Stadium to go along with Mark Zinno and the Royals. 
We will be getting to our show best bet in just a minute. A reminder, you can comment down below with your favorite best of bets for Monday at any time. Love to uh, see all these comments that we're getting each and every day, the kind words. And uh, we also want to remind you, two-for-one special still going on at Wager Talk. You buy two months, we'll throw in August for free. That covers your NFL preseason, first two months of the college regular season, first two months of the NFL regular season, rest of MLB, start of the soccer season. Mark Zinno, if you get on board with him right now, he is red hot in the diamond, and he'll tell you all about it right now. Shh. No, no, I, I, I don't like to brag on myself. I'd rather you do it for me. Oh. Uh, but, yeah, <laughs> we, we've had a nice run. 5-0, and oh, uh, of course, the last three days, 6-1 and one, uh, over the last four or five, whatever it is, I can't remember. But uh, we, we've, we're seeing the board pretty well. So uh, kind of keeping things small here. One, maybe two plays today coming up on the site, but we've we've picked and chose our spots very carefully over the, la- the last couple of days. So we'll stay with that process since it's working, not overdo it, uh, and we'll continue to try and cash winners for you guys. WT.buzz slash MZ. Go get them. They'll be up there later today. Not only is it Monday, it is Patrick Corbin Day in D.C. Last time out, it was not pleasant. He gave up 11 runs in three innings. That's The Nationals... Yeah, the, the Nash, it's not good. It's not good. The Nationals are hosting the Giants today, Mark. Uh, a top five team in both batting average and WRC against lefties. Corbin is, of course, a southpaw. And Logan Webb, not that good on the road. So I have once again done it where I have uh, taken a lot of the breakdown. But why don't you tie a bow sure. on this Let thing? Make, no best bet is on the Giants the and Nationals. Time. Yeah, that's it. I'll just make up things to fill time because you just said everything that I was going to say. There, there used to be a part of this show where you should just throw it to me and I would do the work. Uh, now you're doing it all for me. But let's talk about Logan Webb here, the right-hander for the San Francisco Giants. ERA, almost two runs higher on the road. His whip on the road, 1.41. Uh, he is not the same pitcher. This is a Nationals team offensively, kind of middle of the road at home against righties since the month of July, throughout the month of July. But They have the fifth lowest K rate of any team in baseball against right-handers at home from July 1st till now. So they're not striking out a lot. You look at, take take that with a pitcher who has a whip of over 1.4. That means guys are going to be on base. Runs are going to be able to be scored. The Giants should do their part against Patrick Corbin. If they get to three, four runs here in this spot, five runs definitively, I think the Nationals could take care of the rest. You look at this number as a total of nine. Odds makers are telling you right away here, despite the fact that it's Logan Webb on the mound, that we're going to see some runs scored in this thing. So we're going to follow the money here and go over nine. Jump on this quick, guys, as soon as you get it. My feeling is my, I suspect that this would be nine and a half by the time first pitch goes off tonight uh, in the district. So uh, get on this thing pretty quick. Over nine between Giants and Nats. That is your show best bet. Two bottom 10 bullpens involved there as well. So there should be plenty of runs oh, yeah. uh, throughout nine Finally innings, not just the starts. What's that? Finally, you added something of value at the end. The bullpen thing. That was you know, something of value for the audience. You know, you yell at me when I give part of a breakdown before the show, and then oh, you mock oh, me you, for... You know, no. no, you tried to be a punk, and you tried to, to, to tell people to do something contrary to what I did, and you ended up being right. So... I had to call you out on it for being right. But, you know, like towards the end of the show, you tend to go off the rails a little bit. That was actually good. You gave value to the to the to the viewers. I'm glad you did that for them. Look at you. You look apoplectic. You look you look nonplussed. What happened to you? Did you get your feelings hurt right now? now? Get your feelings hurt? No. It's okay, Benny. I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. You know what? This will make me feel better. There There we we go. go. I knew that. Now we all feel better. Yeah. Not with the cabbage patch doll. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, there you go. Subscribe.